Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capes channel in Malaysia. I'm really excited today to get this fresh case of the new Wave 4 Masters of the Universe Eternia Minis. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Wave 4, although the box doesn't really say, but we've had a couple of waves so far. The Castle Grayskull Wave, the Snake Mountain Wave, the uh, Slime Pit Wave. So yeah, this has got to be Wave 4. Now, the new wave is the first one to come blister carded and with the old school retro style packaging that we've been seeing on the standard Motu Origins figures. Uh, the carton says that the assortment contains 10 pieces, so you're getting 10 figures in one full carton. It also says that uh, you know this thing has a price tag of 190 ringgit Malaysia. That could be the intended price for this carton, which works out to about 45 US dollars, but I didn't pay that much though for this. Now, uh, we've got the seal running here at the top, so what say we crack it open and see what's inside. Inside the box, uh, we've got the blister cards lined up very neatly. So, what say we pull them out one by one and see what's in the assortment. Okay. First up, we've got Skeletor, the evil Lord of Destruction. Now, this would be the battle armor version. Uh, we've seen this head sculpt on Skeletor for the previous minis that came out, um, like the standard regular edition and also the gold version of Skeletor. But uh, this is the first time that we're getting the battle armor chest. Now, I gotta say that it looks pretty good. Pretty sure the chest doesn't have the battle action gimmick though. Uh, unless we ever get a deluxe version of this figure. Okay, so at retail, uh, based on the price tag here, this would go for 17 Malaysian ringgit and 90 cents, which works out to just slightly over 4 US dollars. I gotta say that's a pretty sweet deal, okay? And uh, that just makes this series even more collectible, you know? Uh, we seem to have the slime pit theme again on the back of the card. And this is something that was carried over from Wave 3. Okay, so who do we got rolling out next? Are you guys ready for this? It's the anti-Eternia He-Man. Wow. He-Man, those sure are some bright looking teeth. Yep, real bright. Look at that. Um, you know, you could get blinded. I guess he wants us to know that he brushes his teeth every day. Look, I don't know much about the anti-Eternia mode other than the fact that He-Man is obviously evil here. This version wasn't available in the Vintage series, but it did appear in the Classics line. I need to do some reading up on the character backstory, but I do know that he's a fan favorite for sure. So there's going to be a lot of people who are really happy to see him here. What do you guys think about the anti-Eternia He-Man? Okay, next up, who do we have out of the box? Say hi to Tila, warrior goddess. Very nice sculpt. You know, I believe Tila did make an appearance in the previous wave as well, but I guess they wanted to make sure that the waves had a good mix of heroes and villains and that the core heroes were represented. Anyway, it's great to have her here, for sure. And the scup, yeah, this is a good looking figure. So next up, who do we have? Wait for it. Orko! Wow. <laughs> wow. Check this out, guys. This is one good looking mini Orko. Now, Orko here looks like he could fit in with the figures in the other standard basic lines because he looks like the standard representation of the Orko that you remember. No caricaturish outlines or exaggerated shapes. Plus, you know, Orko is always a pretty small guy and here it looks like he's just smaller. And you know, it's great that they gave him a stand to float on as well. All in, yeah, this is one of the standouts for me. Okay, coming up next, 
You guys ready? Coming up next, we've got ourselves, we've got ourselves the anti-Eternia man at arms. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> now there's something special about this guy, I think. Um, yeah, because I do believe that there isn't any other version of him that existed before this. Uh, not in the classics line or anything like that. Uh, so they've made this figure a debut release for the Eternia mini f series. Um, again, that's something that's going to make a lot of fans happy, okay? Uh, and which I think elevates the collectability status of these minifigures even more. Okay, guys, what's next? What do we have next? You ready for this? We've got Merman. <laughs> Merman, the evil ocean warlord. Okay, this figure, wow, it, you know, it's pretty much a real stunner. I really like how they pulled it off. Merman looks pretty much the same as what you expect the character to look like. Um, there's no radical departure, like a big goofy grin or something like that. Um, you know, the thing about these uh, you know, miniature figures, uh, it's like you could give them exaggerated bodies, but if their facial sculpts still have the standard, instantly recognizable look of the character, then that's what sticks with you. And that's what makes the attempt uh, at miniaturizing the figures a success. Yeah. And this is, just, uh, you know, this is just an overall solid piece for me. I want to see more of these villains, man. Come on. Okay, we've got more figures in the box. Who do we have next? Zodak, the Cosmic Enforcer. Here's the guy that balances between good and evil. The guy that you may not necessarily want on your team because he may just decide that you're not the one that needs to be saved today. Um, I kind of think that this translation uh, worked out pretty well. You know, he looks pretty much like the, he looks pretty much, you know, pretty much like the Origins version of him that just came out recently, uh, just in miniature form. This is a pretty good representation. Uh, if you're if you're a fan of Zodak and you're collecting the various incarnations of him, this is a good addition to your collection. All right, we're almost towards the end of the box here, but we've still got more. And uh, here's another Orko. <laughs> um, okay, looks like uh, we've got ten figures in the carton, and one of them's an extra. And hey, you know what? It's not bad that we've got an extra Orko because this figure is great, actually. Yeah, you may just want to keep one carded and uh, have one up open for display, all right? So cool. You know, if you're getting the carton, you're getting an extra Orko. All right, then. I'm expecting a few more showstoppers in the line. Uh, who do we have next? Well, it looks to be... What's it going to be? The Battle Armor He-Man figure. Well, you know this was coming, right? Because we've already checked out the Battle Armor Skeletor. Yep, so here's He-Man. And yeah, he still looks like he's uh, he's being a poster boy for a dental plan. Because look at that teeth. <laughs> look at that set of teeth, man. You know, I just feel that um, the those teeth are distracting me from the entire sculpt. Okay, but... Hey, uh, we've seen this in the first series, and this time around, uh, we've got the battle armor on the chest. And yeah, this pretty much looks like how you'd expect the battle armor He-Man to look. Once again, there's no action gimmick here, uh, so you're getting, you're basically getting a new version of He-Man. And I hope that, you know, we've also got a chance to see some of the other versions coming down later on the road, like uh, the Flying Fist He-Man. Thunder Punch He-Man, you know, how about those figures too? So, hey, a uh, great addition, definitely, for your collection. Uh, and that basically leaves us with just one more figure to go. One more figure, guys. One more figure to go. That's right, okay. The last one in the carton. Who is it going to be? Um, here's a sneak peek. Here's a sneak peek at the top. The card. That's right. You guys want to guess? Could you guess who is it going to be? Well, it's none other than Clawful. Clawful. Look at that, man. Man, this figure is just awesome. Look at that, man. Man, so awesome I just dropped him. Look at that. So freaking cool, man. Look at the size of this guy. You know what? Um, 
yeah looking looking at the at the dimensions of the figure uh i, I didn't realize this actually but uh well we've not gotten a clawful figure in the origins line so far but uh in the vintage series he was pretty much the same size as the rest of the the figures because of the they all shared basically the the same uh body but you know what seeing him in this form you realize that actually clawful is supposed to be a pretty big guy you know because even as a miniature figure he's huge look at that massive you know massive claw on him okay yeah uh wow this is a fantastic rendition of clawful uh better than than anything that we've seen in the mainstream line you know so far um definitely for for uh for a miniature series this guy's a total standout okay uh you know what best figure in the line for me you know Okay, guys, so that's the video. You know, I wasn't really a big fan of the uh, the Eternia Minis. Uh, I did get the first, uh, I, well, I got the Snake Mountain set, and I also got the Slime Pit set, and I pretty much thought that, you know, I was done with it. But I'm seeing the new figures that they're putting out, and they're really expanding the universe, okay? Uh, if they keep getting us uh, solid uh, solid figures like, like these, and also expanding it to include, you know, maybe stuff like Modulock, and uh, blast attack and those guys in the future i'm telling what i'm gonna keep on collecting all right and uh, i want to know what you guys think of the Eternia minis as well uh let me know what you thought of this video you know what do you think about this new wave of figures uh if you're collecting them yourself you know okay let me know your thoughts thanks as always for joining me uh i'll catch you guys again real soon